What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to order buy in SQL. So order buy, if you remember back from the Excel spreadsheet days, they had you learning Excel spreadsheets and they had us learning Excel spreadsheets in elementary school. And you may remember ascending, descending. You would sort your tables either ascending, meaning that they are going from lowest to highest, or you would sort them descending, going from highest to lowest. And they would always use the analogy, it's sort of like an airplane, like an airplane is descending, or an airplane is ascending, it's going up. And order by is sort of SQL's version of that. And it's a, it's a relatively important um, SQL statement. So let's just go ahead in here and go to one of our tables. We're gonna go into our database, expand on that, then go down to one of our tables and expand on that. Right click, let's actually go to, um, let me see, let's go to products and let's select the top 1000 rows. So we're gonna select the top 1000 rows. We've kind of, looked, if you've watched any of the previous videos, we've already kind of been in this table before and we've got a good, um, just kind of looking at it, I think a great uh, column here, remember we have columns and we have rows. I think a great column to sort this would be by the model year. I think uh, a lot of times when you're sorting um, or you are, yeah, you're sorting from ascending to descending, it's done by dates and a lot of times it's done by prices and I think that's going to be a good example. So let's just say here we're looking through our bikes and we want to font, we want to sort these uh, bikes by their model. We want the oldest to newest. So what you would do is you would simply just go in here, you would type in order by two words, key point, do, uh, not you don't want to do that because that is not syntactically correct and will give you an error. And then you want to type in the column name. And this is probably the most simple way that you can um, sort. So you go order by model year and then type in ASC. ASC for ascending or DSC for descending. And Typically, it's done by de descending, especially a, a good example of when you're going to use uh, descending is when you are checking for the newest record that was created in a database. And that's going to be like if you had an error or if you're trying to fix some type of bug and you need to find the newest one that you just created, you would typically go for descending. But a lot of times you see descending as well, too. So let me just stop talking for a little bit and let's just actually execute this thing. So you go up here, you click your little green arrow and let me see here. We've got some type of error, not exactly sure. So line near line three, let's see. Okay, whoa, that was weird. Very strange error, I didn't even change anything and it ran, but uh, if you knew what happened there, just let me know. So. Uh, <laughs> We've got the model year. Uh, the model year is going to go, the newest one is going to be 2019 and it's going to go all the way down to 2016. Very, very simple. Actually, you could probably leave the video, but I'm going to give you a couple more tricks to, um, for when you're actually working because there's a couple tricks that you could use to actually make your life a whole lot easier. So now we've got it ascending. Um, here is the exact syntax that you will get from the Microsoft documentation. So when you do order by, you can do, and this these are just notes, don't actually type these down. So you can do the column, you can do something called the column ordinal, you can do the column alias, which is actually very unique to order by. And then of course, which I just showed you, you have the ASC or you have the DS, uh, DESC, the sorting, uh, ascending to descending. So what is a column ordinal and what is a column alias? If you don't know what alias is, it what an alias is. So technically with order by, you could just type in, let's say you wanted to sort by the model year. 
what you would do is you just go one, two, three, four, five, and you, you could just type in five here and you could do order by five descending. The ordinal is just a fancy name for the number of the row. And like I said, we have our model year. We have everything sorted by our model year. Also, if you wanted to do aliasing, like if you wanted to do product name, this is an alias. And I talked about aliases a little bit more in my previous video. You wouldn't even have to have the as there. You could technically just do that, but let's just put the as there so we don't confuse people. And you could order by the alias, just like that. You could order by the product name, which is unique only to order by. So we're going to go ahead and run that and we are sorting by our product name. Very cool. That is the uh, last one. The other thing that I want to show you guys is this is this is pretty important too. So if you go here and you type in list price, you can put two in here. And this is really useful for when you have two columns that you're kind of trying to order by and you want to you know order by two columns so this is like i said really cool watch this so you go in here and what's going to happen here is it's going to sort by the model year first and then it's also whenever these are the same so we have a bunch of the same model years and they're all the same and what it's also going to do is whenever you have the same or it's it's got like the same 2016 it's going to sort the list price too as well so it's going to sort these by ascending as well so another very very useful thing that we can kind of have in our toolbox for when we're querying data if you're a software developer you you know it's good to know these things obviously and knowledge is always power in tech but uh, you're definitely going to need to know that as a data analyst. So if you're a data analyst, definitely take heed of that because that's going to be really important. But software developers, important to know, not absolutely pivotal. You probably want to know more just how to sort things by ascending and descending, if I had to say. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.